just going to toast my bread and then allow it to sit here. Home is where our story begins. I don't know. I like this mug a lot. It's like my favorite mug here. I finish this in the video. This is the last one. So I'll just put it back in the micro microwave and allow it to you know get hot. This is my own breakfast. Um tea and bread. Toasted bread um with um peanut butter. So this is what I'll be having with my tea. That milk is remaining small. I must finish that milk today because I don't want this. Last time I trashed some and I wasn't happy with it. So this time around, I'm trying all my possible best to make sure that I finish. So guys, we're done and um, we're done having breakfast. Um, we want to go out now to um, go post the phone. And also go to the African store to buy Gary. And what else? Any other thing? I'll do some light grocery shopping. So I'll just walk you guys. This my hair is full though, but oh, I'm going to carry it an extra, I think, two weeks before I'm losing it. Hmm. The question is, can I afford it now? No, but I have wigs that can serve so. I'll let my hair breathe first because a lot of um, the front part is shedding or has already pulled out. So I need to allow it to regrow before I can think of braid. Usually I braid like once in a year. Um, lip balm. The weather here, it used to peel my leaves. See, my center leaf is already torn like into two. Now, so yeah, I'm ready and um, we're ready to go. Maybe I should just put my um, head warmer. Temperature here is like zero degrees, so maybe I'll use my egg warmer today. I usually don't like wearing it, but I'm just going to do it today. Let's see what it looks like first. I don't think I like it though, but just for the fact that everywhere is cold, I'm just going to make do with it. <laughs> what? Hmm? How are you? Mm. Mm. So guys, we are about to leave and um, we just want to go do uh, like a few errands. Carry on, what up? Can Mwagi use? Kono, she just she chowed no more. So, guys, let's go and I'll go walk you guys through the rest of my day. Oh my. Yeah, um, but I'll sing it too. You know that's very nice to do. So. <laughs> Okay, hold on, we go here. You know what? Two cover now. Okay, it's a tap on. Just two shirts, this one and this one. I have the same thing. Okay, I swap. You know more. You know more. No matter what you do, you have to do it. Man, I have to be a nice person. You know, you are a sweater. I don't want to be a bad boy.
Apart from dollar storm, where you also want one dollar now this Canada? Things are expensive. But can't complain. Eva. Use side door. Okay. So guys, we are outside. <laughs> we are at our first stop. We uh, my husband wants to fix his car and there's this new place he just discovered. So he went to make inquiries on the total cost and everything. Guys, Canada is expensive, but of course I'm not complaining. Everything here is as in <laughs> there's nothing for one dollar here. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> everything is very, very, very expensive. So, from here, we we'll would either go to um, the post office to post some things, or we would go to um, the African shop to get Gary for the post office. I actually want to post my phone, same with my husband. That's my former phone which is iPhone 11 Pro Max I was supposed to swap that phone when we we're getting this new one but the value they were offering me for that phone it was crazy honestly because I think by the time they did their whole calculation they told me $200 ah when I bought that phone I think that was in 2020 or 2021 that phone was way more than 300k when I bought it as I then now that dollars you know devalued our naira and all that i'm expecting it should be you know higher but here since there's another new version of iphone your old ones just you know the value just depreciates so i'd rather give it to somebody than sell it for 200 dollars not like 200 dollars is not money it's actually money but um, I cannot do, I can't do that so I just told them to leave it that I'll look for something else to do with it so we'll go to the post office and inquire how much it will cost me to send something down to Nigeria so I'll just show you guys um, where we're heading or where we're headed and then I'll give you feedback on my findings I'll see you guys later a fix Make a brick pad for six hundred and ninety dollars. Oh, we are. Can you
hey guys welcome back so we just came back and um i said i was going to give you guys feedback on my findings from posting a phone from here to nigeria guys it wasn't a small thing like it was way way expensive like above my budget i was thinking it was going to cost me like say 80 or 50 to 80 dollars max but on getting there these people were telling me that i'm to pay 261 dollars to send from here to um, nigeria hmm. immediately they just told me that price i just asked them to just hold on that i don't think i would want to proceed with the whole sending then on a second thought my husband's phone that was about 161 dollar reduced to 70 something dollars and i was like ah what happened they said they were having like a promo like a christmas or festive promo so that's why the price reduced so i was like okay let me try out my own and see if the same discount would be applicable to my own phone so by the time they did their calculation it thing dropped from 261 to 113 I gave it a second thought because initially I was thinking maybe I'll look for somebody that is traveling home or somebody that is traveling to Nigeria from Windsor. On a second thought, I don't really know people here and if I if I if I want to go through that route, I don't know when I'm going to send this phone and whatnot. So I just took the risks, you know, bought the costs and um I went ahead with the 130 so we're back and um i just want to you know take some rest or take some time off to rest and um, i'll see you guys later today do not go anywhere please stick around and um i forgot to mention while we're at the african store um i met a nigerian woman she, she was actually the owner of the store and then um, we interacted she told me that she was from Edo State. Ah, oh my. it felt like I had seen somebody from from my place. So when she said it, I was like, oh, she's from Akoko Edo and all that. I thought she was like, where are you from? I told her I'm from okay, so 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 place. And she was like, hmm, it's nice to meet you and all that. I was so happy because the shop, first of all, felt like you know home. It was different from what we had. Um, what I've seen around here and it, it just felt like I was in I was in Nigeria and it felt at home So I really liked the place and it was just nice. So we chatted a bit I thought that I was still new and you know, I was getting used to so she just felt like like a sister <laughs> From another mother. So it was quite interesting It was it was it was a nice one. So that's it guys um do not go anywhere and i'll see you guys later today bye hey guys welcome back um it's already evening and um i want to make dinner for the house um i'm going to show you guys the gary we bought from the african shop guys things that i used to underrate it's not like i used to underrate them back at home but i appreciate them better here because they are very expensive let me show you guys the gary that we bought for 12.99 dollar like just see look at this thing is not even up to 10 kg just look at see the size eh? <laughs> now wow i know at home that gary is no longer cheap as it used to but here it is way 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 expensive or more expensive but like i said i'm not complaining and um I'm just going to microwave a uh, soup. I made this soup like say two days ago. Yes, it's okra soup, okra soup and then um, ugu leaf. I use just okra and ugu because me, I don't usually, I don't like obono, but my husband likes obono. But the obono I came with from Nigeria, I think the thing went rancid and. We can't use it at the moment because the taste is, is bad, it's off. So I'm just going to microwave the soup and um, make a bar. And I think I'll be ending this vlog from here because it's already night time and we have to go to bed. So I'll see you guys in my next upload. 
remember to subscribe please you guys should subscribe we need to grow this channel give this video a thumbs up and um, leave your comments down below and i'll see you guys in my next video bye